Hi YouTube! I want to show you how you can perform Ableton Live or any other sequencer with a USB gamepad. All you need is a freeware program called GlovePie and I will give you a script that uh, gets out up to 40 buttons and 10 different MIDI control change data information out of one gamepad. First I give you a short musical demonstration and I talk about the technical details later. But it's very easy to install and it's complete freeware. Um, so enjoy and see you later. <laughs> Well, in the script file, these buttons here send MIDI nodes on MIDI channel 3. And if you go to MIDI, um, you can route it to whatever you like, just with one press. I routed this here to scene selection, and here's play, and here's stop all pattern, for instance. And here I got the main beat, and some variations. And, but as I said, you can get up to 40 uh, button, uh, buttons out of this. And this is because you can press scene selection here. So if I press and hold this button, the meaning of that button changes. So here I've got now um, a pattern start of the organ. As long as I hold this, it means something different than if I leave that button, it means, again, scene selection. So, and you can press this button, now 10 different control messages, or that button, again 10 different control messages, or both buttons, again 10 different, so you get up to 40. And on the horizontal axis of the analog sticks, I got here the pan position of the first channels, and on the, um, on the vertical axis, I've got uh, from the middle position to up, I got the ping pong delay. So zero is the middle position, 
and up is uh, 127 and down is another controller down is uh, the Redex so on one stick I got uh, three uh, MIDI control change data messages so these are five but as I said uh, um, you can get up to oh I said 10 10 is not right you can get up to eight MIDI control uh, change messages because if you press again here's a tiny here two tiny buttons and if you press them again this send other data so if I have pressed them first change here now I control the filter and um, a saturator of um, the 303 um, the good thing is that you can go in a desired position and then leave the button here and now it holds that position so maybe I'll show you with some music and then you control with the same stick after leaving the pan position and effect amount so this script is free for you um, it's done in GloveBuy. GloveBuy is a free program and all you have to do, I mentioned uh, in the first line of the script, so you have to install GloveBuy, you need something to root your MIDI signal inside your computer, I use uh, MIDI Yoke. Uh, you need DirectX 8, which will be already installed on your computer, I guess. And uh, then you can go to the CP settings and, no, not the keyboard, I don't want the keyboard, damn it. I want the joystick. So now I've got a little problem. Here we go. Um, and you can go on the properties and look if the joystick is registered right, if the buttons are okay. Uh -huh. Or you can go, in the second step, you have to go to MIDI and set that MIDI to out to media one that's the one i use um, you can use another port but you need some kind of virtual media cable and uh, then you go here on the options this pops up on another monitor here you have to activate the remote of that me your port you used so i guess this is on pc only sorry all mac guys um, there are other applications on Mac and CloudPy is a really great program. There are many uh, scripts for using Wiimote. Um, I give you that uh, script for free uh, for the Joypad because I found no good script for a Joypad. And I made this a few years ago. And yeah, it's free for download. I will post a link at the info of the video. I guess it's easy to install and it might need 10 minutes and it's 10 bucks here so it's an easy way to control Ableton Live maybe not as the only controller you have but as an add-on and yeah it's really fun to play around with the sticks so I hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching and have a nice day